Hey everyone, it's Eugene, and today what I'm going to be talking about is the new Target kit that we have for sale for Recon 3D. Now, I announced this in the user group meeting uh, not too long ago, but I have that here and I'm going to be talking about that in a second. The second thing that I'm going to do is talk about a way you can use the targets or make your own targets to uh, you know, take measurements across a longer distance. One of the limitations of using a tape measure is you can only go so far before the tape measure starts to bend and uh, give you some other problems. So, especially if you're by yourself and then it's really tough because you're dragging this tape over a very uh, long distance. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit and I've got some other little things here that I'll explain. First, let's talk about the target kit. So what I have, and I'll get through these, but basically what it consists of are two magnetic targets. So these are eight inch targets. They're rather large, so you can get these from about uh, five, uh, well over five meters, uh, you should be able to detect these. So if you're farther away for whatever reason, then you know, you'll be able to detect these. Now, because the LiDAR sensor works um, you know, up to five meters, I left it at that, but you could always make these larger if you wanted to do it yourself. Uh, but these are magnetic, so you can see the magnetic backing and you can just stick these on a vehicle, um, you know, where there is a, a flat spot. What, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have these bent when they're, you know, up on a surface or whatever. That will kind of mess things up. So the flatter they are, the better it is. Um, there's also a center cross right in the middle. That's where you measure from. And so I'll, I'll zoom in on that in a second. So those are the two eight inch targets. We also have the same thing in six inch targets. So they're six inch square. They also have the little uh, cross, the center cross there. And they are made of the same material, but it's a vinyl, it's a matte vinyl finish. So they call it a super matte finish. So there's not a lot of reflection here. So they do pretty well and a little bit smaller, but uh, you know, this one is detectable up to about four meters as well. So not too bad there. And then we have a small set, so this could be something you could put on, you know, a car body or whatever. Now, of course, car bodies are curved and such, so if you put a large target on, you're probably going to you know, start bending the target, but, you know, it's easier to find a smaller area where you can place the target and it will still remain relatively flat. Now with these, you can also put a backing. So if you have a metal backing or you cut, you know, a metal backing square, you know, four, six, uh, six inch and eight inch approximately. Um, you know, usually what I do is when I get the targets, I'll measure them out really accurately and maybe leave just a little bit more on the edge. Uh, no big deal. Just some place to put them down on. And, uh, you know, you can use them that way on the ground or, or different things without putting the actual magnet down. Uh, but they're fairly durable. This is a vinyl finish, so uh, it'll do quite well. Now I also have two other sets here uh, that come with the kit. These are six inch sticker targets. So they're just peel and stick. And there's also two four inch targets. Uh, actually, these are more like three and a half. They're a little bit smaller um, just because of the way that they, they're printed. Now there is a small difference that I want to note and this may, this may change in the future, but these ones are also the matte finish. So it, they don't uh, have a lot of shine to them, which is what you want. You don't, you don't want to get a, lot, get a lot of glare, but these ones here, have a slightly different printing process and they do have a little bit more shine, but they work just fine. Uh, what will end up happening is once you pass through it with Recon 3D, you'll see that at one point you get a little bit of a glare and it'll happen the same with these outdoor, outdoors on a sunny day. There's just no way to avoid it. Uh, but as you pass, you'll get a into a different uh, spot and in that spot you'll detect the target. You'll see it come up on the screen and it'll work just fine. So with these, you can choose what you want to use as a backing. So if you want to use wood, or if you want to use cardboard or if you want to use whatever, I would say do something durable. It could be metal, it could be aluminum, it could be um, there's that corrugated plastic stuff that they use for signs and things like that. That's fairly durable as well. And this way they're light, they're easy to transport and uh, you know you can reuse these over and over again if you want. Um, you could affix them permanently if you wanted to just peel and stick them, but I don't know why you would do that um, because they are reusable if you put them on a, a backing that you can move around. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in what you want to do. And if you're interested, you can just click on the link below and you'll go to the, uh, the, the link where you can purchase these from the website. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you was how I've used these um, in a certainly different way. And normally when you're using the targets, what a lot of people are doing is they're just taking a couple of targets, whether they're printing them out on uh, 
paper or cardstock. Some people are getting their own made on aluminum or whatever, which is great. Uh, find a good solution for yourself. This is just an option for people, but there are other ways that you can do things. But th the most common way is people are taking the targets and they're looking at this little center target here, so the little cross there, and you want to measure from center to center. Now, normally I'll try to lay these down in a very organized manner, but you know, let's say for example, they were at, in different orientations. The orientation doesn't matter if you're measure, measuring from center to center. Now, if I was measuring from corner to corner, then the orientation matters, okay? So then you want to be able to, you know, put these um, in the exact same orientation, okay, for where these are, and then you can measure from corner to corner. That will equate to the center to center distance, okay? That's important. Now, you can also elevate them. So if you have uneven ground, you could do something where they're like this and you have to measure a straight line between the center to center. That's harder to do, but it is possible. So let me tell you what I've got here. Um, well, here's a, here's a couple of examples. So these ones here are actually using the little uh, three and a half inch sticky targets. And I've just put them on a, a wood backing. I had some half inch plywood lying around. And so what I did was basically just, you know, cut them to the right size and then peel and stick this on. So if I want to use these very quickly, I can throw them out. They're durable, they're strong, and they, the last thing you want to do is, well, there's two things you don't want to do. First off, you don't want them to move. So if they're made of paper or you printed them out on paper, you really have to make sure that they are secured properly to whatever it is that you're you know, working on. So if you're throwing them on the ground and you know, you've got a gravel ground, they're probably not going to be that even. So that you don't want to happen. The other thing that you don't want to happen is you don't want them to blow away while you're scanning or you don't want them to move position. What will happen is if one moves as you're scanning and you scan it in one position, you come back around and it moves for whatever reason, it could potentially think that there's three targets instead of two. So we don't want that to happen. So making sure they're flat, making sure that they're stable, they don't move is important. And that's one quick way to do that. Now here what I've done is, I've also done the half inch plywood thing, but I've used the six inch targets and I've, you know, sand, a little bit of sanding, nothing special, and a little bit of uh, paint. And I've also drilled a small hole there and I put a quarter 20 thread. And the quarter 20 thread is the standard size for most tripods. And so, um, one of the problems you have with a tape measure, as I said, is, you know, over a short distance like this on the table, no big deal. But if I have to go, go over a really long distance, eventually this tape measure is, or the tape is going to bend and it's going to introduce some air. I want to minimize that air. So here's a potential idea. And again, this is just a concept. It's not a final product or anything like that. Uh, but it's something that I'm just offering for people if they want to do it themselves. So quarter 20, uh, th uh, thread or nut that I put in here and I'm just going to put this onto this little mini tripod. Now I'm using a mini tripod but you could use just about any tripod you want. Let me set this up and I'm going to put that one here like that. Okay that looks okay and I'm going to do the same thing here so let me extend that and spread out the legs and I gotta screw this in here. Now I also have a ball head on both of these because if you're going to be spreading these out, you may be on uneven ground. And so you have to make sure that these are level. Like I can see this one is not level right now, so I'll have to kind of try to make it as level as I can, more or less. Um, usually the eyes are actually pretty good at determining if things are level, but you could always put a little uh, bullseye level, a bubble level on there and just make sure that it's nice and flat. So the trick here is going to be that I need to measure from center to center. So one of the tools you can use for this is a little disto. And these are things you can get at a local hardware store. They're not that expensive and they're usually accurate to about one or two millimeters. So um, if you're going over a longer distance, these are great. Uh, this one here is made from Bosch and uh, they're not sponsoring this. I'm just, this is one that I've had for a very long time, but um, it's a 40 meter uh, range. Now I probably wouldn't go for the full 40 meters, but what I would do is turn this on and different, uh, Different uh, units have different measurement modes, so depending on, and different accuracies too. So if you spend more money, you'll get one that, you know, is good to one millimeter or 1.5. You just have to look at the specs and see what is gonna be suitable for you. I certainly wouldn't be able to measure over 40 feet with a steel tape and expect to get one or two millimeters. That's, that's uh, pretty aggressive. So what I'm gonna do is, um, this is currently set up to measure from the back. Now some of them you can switch this one to measure from the front, but I'm gonna put this back here just temporarily. 
and I need to hit the target. I need to hit the center of this target. So what I've got is just a, it's a block of wood, okay? So I'm gonna put this here like that, and I'm gonna put it right on the center mark, and I'm gonna make sure that the back end is also here. Now, I have to move this like that. Now maybe this might be more interesting if I get the laser dot on the camera. Maybe a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So I've got this pointed pretty much at the center there. That's where it needs to be. And you'll see it's a little bit higher. So this is either tilted this way or one is a little bit higher. And I can see that this one looks a little bit higher. So I can bring this up a bit. Let me just do that and see if I can... Actually, no, I gotta go the other way. I have to bring this one down. So what I'm gonna do is or I need to bring this one up, excuse me. Let me go up here, there we go. So I wanna get that dot as close to the center without actually hitting the, uh, you know, I don't, I don't wanna hit the base of the target. I wanted to hit this little block of wood. So I'm just gonna get it right to the center. So that's on center. This looks like it's pretty much on center. Now I can see the laser is on this side. So that's not bad, it's aligned pretty well. So what is it giving me? It's giving me 0.729. 0.729. So let me just do a quick check. I'm gonna put this down here like that. I'll take this. And if I do this carefully and I don't move anything, I should have, yep, very close. Let me just put that here. 0 0.7, it's like 0 .7, 0 0.729, almost bang on. Between 0.728 and 0.729. So I should be good to within about a millimeter uh, over this particular range. Now, usually the farther out you get, the greater the uncertainty or greater the error. And so if I were to really spread these out across, you know, a big truck or something like that, and I'm now 50 feet or I'm, you know, 10 meters or something like that, I would expect to have a couple of millimeters. But it would certainly be much better or much more accurate than using just a tape measure across that same distance. So that's pretty much it here, and that's what I'm going to offer on the targets. A couple of little tips and tricks. Like I said, if you're interested in the target kit here, you get the two 8-inch targets, you get the two 6-inch targets, and the two 4-inch uh, targets. These are all magnetic, and with that you also get the two sets, uh, the two 6-inch sticky targets and the two 3.5-inch um, sticky targets as well. It gives you a lot of flexibility in what you want to do or how you want to put it together. So if you're interested, click on the link below. You can purchase it. And if you have any questions, you can always let me know. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.